everyone um, today I'm uh, the, as part of my exploration of the chart calculator I come to the gallery and I try to actually uh, uh, kind of recreate and reproduce this chart again so there is a actually video here uh, but uh, I'm going to explain more about how you can create this type of charts that actually as you see it is a map of the US so if I play it, it shows that how actually you can create a map of the US with a specific data like a uh, to be a histogram and the other. So we are going to look at that, how we can do that. Uh, I'm going to uh, actually uh, recreate this chart for the New Zealand actually data set. So I'm going to get uh, use the stats uh, dot new, uh, for the New Zealand data. I'm going to uh, use a data set about replanting. So the original data set that I have in Power BI, actually I loaded, is about the total, the actual total area replanted in the different region of the New Zealand. So same as this one that you see here, that you see that's kind of the, uh, uh, the map of the US. I'm going to create same thing using latitude and longitude for the New Zealand. I will show you that how this one has been created and how uh, actually different areas has been shown and how this small chart has been created over here. So uh, again, I back to here as you can see so uh, I have a data set that actually has the forested, that's about the replanted. Uh, and the other one is the area, so different areas that we have from Auckland, Bay of Plenty, and different region that we have here. We have the year that has happened, so as you can see, most of them are uh, for the year ended on 31st of March. 2005 to 2018 I removed these ones because it's not the same as the other and I also I have a, a value for that so what I did actually yes I removed the flag one I filtered the data to not include the total New Zealand and uh, the total total South Island and total North Island so I just removed them I want to see the different region there and also I add a conditional column that shows the latitude for the each of them. So for example, for Auckland, I put the latitude, I found it. So the website that I'm using is actually was GPS coordinator for latitude and longitude. You can actually search for the uh, actually one. So for example, I want to look at the North Island in uh, New Zealand and I click and I able to find it. So that's latitude.to.lat. So you can actually go there and see that how you can find it. So for the each region, actually I did it manually. Maybe there is some REST API that help you through that. But in this example, because the limited it's not a few, but actually, yeah, the, uh, less than 20. So I put them here. This is latitude. Uh, of course, I removed, do some data transformation. And then again, for the longitude, I do the same. So these are the longitude one that I put for the different region. Then actually I multiply it by minus because the latitude should be minus one. And... Uh, I put a prefix as lat and longitude. I will explain that why I did that one. I want these two to be a text one. And in Charticulator, we have a problem with a numeric value. So uh, I will explain that why I did that and you will see that why. But uh, at the end, actually, I put a uh, prefix for both of them. So lat and long. So I can have a text. I know that we can actually have text just converted, but in Charticulator, it's not able It's still consider if I remove, uh, if I back here, if I before the prefix, if I check that one. So if I just change it to the text, is in chart equality, it still consider these columns as a numeric value, which is not my preference. I prefer to uh, actually make these two as a 
uh, text so I have to actually this is one of the changes that I have to to add a, uh, actually a prefix for both of them to make them as a real text over there so this is my data set uh, I will put a link through that so you can download that this is a clean data set that I'm going to use so you see that I have the area for the each one so now we can back to the charticulator uh, so I just write it, charticulator.com, launch to the charticulator. I'm going, so just be careful. Again, the data set should be on the CSV format. It's not able to that. So I'm going to show you first. So uh, I will show you the correct version. Then I will show you the errors and try and errors that I fail uh, actually faced during creation. So this is my data. As you see here, I have a value so you can look at the data here. So these are the region. Uh, actually, these are the foresty. This is the, uh, I, I don't use it actually, I can remove it. These are the area, the year, the value, the latitude and longitude. Also, I, I better change that one to the name, uh, to the lat and long. I didn't do that, but you can actually do that. So this is my data set. I'm going to actually put it here. I want to create a histogram uh, over here. So I use the marks. I need to use some of the symbols. So if you, uh, actually you can create the marks or you can use a symbol. If you put a symbol, it's actually it's become like a scatter chart, but I don't want, I want to create a histogram. So I use the marks over here. So I click on the marks and I create something like here. So now I'm going to drag and drop these two value over here. So what is the prop? So this is actually, if you look at here, let me a bit make it more like New Zealand map. It's not exactly the same, but if you see it's kind of similar based on the one. So if you going to Google and said New Zealand uh, map, and if you look at the map that we have here, it's kind of the same. It's not exactly one, but it's kind of the same. This is Northland and the other one. So, so what has happened actually? Let me uh, open, uh, keep this one and open a new window. I want to show you something else. So uh, initially what I have, I think was this one. So initially I have these two. Even I mentioned here that they are string and they are not numeric. And even in Power BI I also do that. Is not able to consider them as a string. So what is the wrong with that? So I come and click here and put the one here. This is fine. But when I put actually the latitude and longitude over here, it shows me in a very strange way because uh, it's actually, they didn't consider it as a continuous value and um, kind of, um, to be honest, I need to figure out. But I found that is actually, if you want to see the separate and discrete data over here, it's better that these two data that actually put in the X and Y axis should be in a, uh, actually a uh, kind of the string format rather than the text. So you can see that actually I can see the small charts over here. Another things that I'm going to do instead of kind of having the layout like this, I click on one of these and I'm saying that I want to see it as a bar chart, not as a grid. The data set should be like that. So now I can see as a grid here. Uh, so now I'm going to actually to make them some data. I need to put some data over here. So uh, for the for the data, I can say this is a, actually the data that we want to put. Uh, if I just make it a bit bigger so you can see. So this is actually the bar that I have. I want the height of that each bar shows the value that is about the, uh, the replanting tree. So I want the height shows the value so you see that now each of them is similar kind of there so because in some area we have more planting replanting data so it's kind of like that that's why also i want that it's filled so you can see the actual value uh, so the higher value darker and the kind of the the 
uh, lower value, right? Lower, uh, so you can see that you can choose one of those, so it's all good. So, uh, also, uh, still, you can to make it more similar to the uh, Auckland, actually, to the New Zealand map, you can change the map size to make it more similar. So, this is the one that we have here. So, now we are going to add more things over. There. So I'm, I'm going to add text here. So uh, first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, put a line here. I want the top of the histogram to be clear. So I'm going to draw a line on top of the each point here so you can see the top point of the each data. Also, I want to show the area name you couldn't see the area name here so here i have two options for the text i can put a general text like this one or i can put a text that can show the text for the each point of the data that we have so i click on that and i said i want to show a text for all of them but there is a problem happen you see that is so messy because for each rows of the data is showing that. So I'm going to set that I don't want to show it for whole uh, data. I don't want that. I just want to show it for a specific data points. So I choose the one that I think it has more data point for that. So you need to check to see which one. I think this one has better one. So I ch choose this one or yeah, I remember one of them has most of the data yeah i think that's fun so you just check to see that for each uh, rows you have more data point or if you have a unique value you can do that if it's here you can put it there so it depends on which one so it's actually i put for this data I, it seems that we have the data point for all of them uh, and for the text value i'm going to show the area so i drag and drop the area so i click on the text and for the text just put the actually the name of that so uh, if you want you can actually uh, because this is a uh, kind of the uh, string data but for example you see that south island is really is not in a good place here we couldn't see that so maybe it's better that i increase the dimension uh, unfortunately for the text data is a bit hard to kind of do that so i i can say i don't want to see that so because that's not real data the latitude like longitude is not the data that we interested so i just remove it or you can actually change it that and also um, also you can change the location of the text by clicking on the title oh no not this one this one Okay, so as you can see here, it actually uh, shows the data over here. You can make it kind of much more clear by adding some more data over here. But this is actually, this is a way. So I think the most important things about this video is uh, the dimensions that we have. So uh, for me, it was actually one of the experiments that I have was about the dimension for the x-axis and y-axis that how numeric value can make change to what we have so as you see that when i put a uh, actually the numeric value i have different experience so uh, i need to figure out that how actually we can have it with a numeric value but when you're doing that so when you create a dimension like this so it's better that here should be a numeric value then you can use the value inside of that and also the uh, interesting part was that actually the location for the uh, latitude and longitude that was really interesting to me uh, same as the other power bi visual so you can easily uh, kind of export it so you can export it the custom visual you can change the icon here and uh, you can export uh, some of the object to change it over there and also you can change the name of the value here to make it more general to use and then just export it and you can use it inside Power BI desktop. So uh, that's actually uh, the uh, one that I want to show you. So you see that also you can, if you want to uh, get a more space, you can actually uh, change it location or just play with that to see that which one uh, is better for you guys so you see that how for example make it more space over here you can change the location of them to make it more 
space over here so that's an interesting one so you see that how we can easily uh, create the charts over here uh, so it's kind of the same as this one so you can easily uh, create that and see that how to also change the title of the charts and the other things so also the background and the other that i already showed it in the other visual so uh this is a really interesting it can be a really interesting one you can play with that and maybe figure out with a different uh kind of uh, orientation so maybe it can be a stack by y or you can change it with a different then uh, here you need to change the height based on that so because here uh, if you remember we actually put the uh, value for the height then in the if you're using as a y you need to change it based on the width of the value so that's become different scenario uh, but just see that how is actually easy to create the charts like this is kind of the nested chart or you can actually based on the shape that you have in the map you can create different uh, kind of it, it shouldn't be a, just a latitude and longitude this can be any type of the chart that you have and you can create an embedded chart inside that it's not the only one so you see that also we have a nested chart so that's a different one but here is actually is another way of creating a nested chart uh, into the uh, actually using the chart calculator. Thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, I will put more updates about the new things I discover from this uh, platform and will create more videos on that. Thanks so much.